Love Island snub off to 2018 after party in favor of private boost up boat after gong win. After just three series, the hit it v show beat off competition from the likes of the real full Monty and old people's home for four year olds to take home the reality and constructed factual gong. However, Despite the big win the cast and crew admitted they had no plans to stick around for the after party. In fact, ITV bosses had tempted fate and already hired out a boat filled with booze to allow them to celebrate in private. We have got 250 crew members on a boat down the Thames and after supper we will be going there. Sarah Tygiff, head of non-scripted programming for Lime Pictures Production said. She added, it will be very fun. It is real life, it's just in a villa cut off from the world Chris Hughes this year celebs dined on roast spring lamb with wasabi mash and asparagus at the official TV BAFTA dinner. Washed down with an endless supply of Tatinger champagne. Taking to the stage to collect the accolade, host Caroline Flack oozed sex appeal and glamour in a statement pink prince's gown. However, surprisingly her new fiancé Andrew Brady was nowhere to be seen. That being said she was kept company by newly single Love Island hunks Chris Hughes and Marcel Somerville. When asked if he thinks couples who find the one on Love Island are doomed to fail in their relationships, Chris replied, it is real life, it's just in a villa cut off from the world. It's a beautiful thing. I never thought I would fall in love but I went in there thinking it would be a nice experience but I didn't think I would find love. There is this thing going around about the Love Island curse but other couples are still together so it's not fair to just say, we all break up. Jess and Dom are married now.